Hello, in this example we are going to take a look at the basics of setting up a structural analysis using SOLIDWORKS simulation. Here we're going to simulate the static stress behavior and displacement behavior of a single part using SOLIDWORKS simulation. Uh, this demonstration is for people who have either SOLIDWORKS Premium or Simulation Professional or Simulation Premium. To begin, make sure that your simulation add-in is enabled by going under Tools Add-ins and enabling the SOLIDWORKS simulation module. We begin by creating a new study. When we define a study, we describe the type of analysis that we're performing. Here we'll choose static, and I'll choose a name for the study. Once the study has been defined, a feature manager tree, called the analysis tree, will show up to the left side of the screen. This will uh, be where we hold the information about this analysis, such as the materials, the loads, fixtures, etc. First, let's define the material. Right click on the part listed under the analysis tree and choose Apply Edit Material. This will bring up the SOLIDWORKS default library. You can choose from existing materials in the library, or you can add your own custom materials. I'll choose Alloy Steel and I can view the properties of any material in any unit system I wish. This alloy steel has a yield strength of about 620 megapascals. Once the material has been applied, you'll notice a small green check mark appears on the part icon in the analysis tree. Next step is to define the fixtures. Fixtures are also called restraints. This describes how the part interacts with the rest of the world, or how it interacts with the parts that aren't being modeled. A common restraint types would be things like fixed, or bolted, or hinged, or welded. Things of that nature that describe how the part is supported or restrained. In our case, we'll simulate that the bolt holes are fixed, but can rotate. So we'll use a fixed hinge constraint for that. Under the Fixtures Advisor, if I drop this down, I can choose a number of different types of restraints, such as fixed, roller slider, fixed hinge. I'll choose the fixed hinge option, pick on the whole surfaces of my two bolt holes. Next, let's apply a load. Under External Loads, I can choose Forces, Torques, Pressures. Let's choose a force and I'll apply this to the end face of this bra bracket and by default the force will be applied normal to that face. Now I can just use my unit system and enter a value of 500 newtons. At any time you can visit the feature manager tree and go back and revisit or edit, suppress, delete uh, any of the items in the analysis tree. So for example to change the force you can just right click choose edit definition. At this point, we are ready to run our analysis. I'll take the default mesh, so I'll let SOLIDWORKS Simulation create the default mesh for me with just the, the, the uh, default parameters. Now that's probably a decent mesh for getting a first pass or kind of a baseline representation of this analysis. So I'll go ahead and run the solution. Okay, this one runs very quickly because it's not a very large model. By default, Simulation will return back to me a von Mises plot, a resultant displacement plot, and an equivalent strain plot. And this can all be customized by modifying the simulation options. If I look at my von Mises stress plot, the units for this plot are being shown in megapascals. It looks like the maximum stress is around 43 megapascals. Meanwhile, an arrow down below the legend is showing the yield strength of 620 megapascals. So this design the maximum stress puts it well below the yield of the material. So I know that this part uh, is not significantly deforming and is not going undergoing any kind of plastic deformation. I can also look at my maximum displacements. This plot is shown in millimeters. I can see that the maximum displacement is about 0 0.068 millimeters. So very small displacement. One other thing I might want to do is right click on my results folder and look at some of the different analysis result types I can choose. Factor of safety, stress plots, strain plots, and so forth. Let's choose a factor of safety plot. Accept the defaults. SOLIDWORKS now shows me my factor of safety distribution. The minimum factor of safety 
is around 14. So we know that this part is significantly over-designed to withstand the 500 Newton load. One last thing we might want to do is generate a report of this analysis. To generate the report, we can go under the simulation menu and choose report. And we'll just accept the defaults for the report setup. However, you can go in and, and enter in your own logo, author, company information, as well as the location where the report will be stored. This will launch the report in Word document format. And as you review your report, you can see that it automatically generates table of contents, list of figures, information about the model path and the document that is being analyzed, as well as date stamps for all of the uh, modified files, all of the information about the model setup in terms of the material, the fixtures, the loads are all included, and results are summarized, as well as the inclusion of all of my standard plots. And then, of course, there's space left for me to add my own conclusions. So out of the box, I can generate a nice professional looking report for this analysis. We'll continue with some additional tips and tricks on running a static simulation in further videos.